Getting into graduate school isn't for everyone. You might need something. Like, let's say for instance, good grades. What's up Biomeds? Welcome again to Biomed Master the channel to empower the next generation of biomedical scientists. That's you guys. So in this video I will share my personal grades that I got throughout my five years of undergraduate and graduate school being a bachelor's and a master's degree before I started doing a PhD. Starting off on a university level to study was also an adaptation for me. So you get out of high school where you have good guidance, perhaps, and uh, where everything is explained and at university level you're on your own. So you will see with my grades also the first years weren't that great. But I got accustomed to the method of studying, which allowed me actually to grow over those five years and have good grades, good enough to start a PhD. Let's check out these grades. And let's start off with those of the bachelor years. So you see here, academic year 2007 to 2008, the second year 2008, 2009, and then 2009 to 2010. Now, let me explain these numbers here in the column. So the first column is actually the amount of credits that the specific class or course is dedicated to. So the higher the number, the heavier you should study for this course. Then next to it, you have my actual points on 20. So everything's on 20. And then besides that, you have a letter code. So I'll uh, clarify, clarify that later on a bit. So let's go over my points here, guys. Physics, I flunked, I had a nine. So they described it as less than 10 which was actually one of the biggest courses in the first semester of the first year. But I didn't have to redo it. I got deliberated for that because I uh, succeeded on all the other classes. General chemistry, I had a 13. Organic chemistry, 14. Uh, introduction to biology and genetics, 10. Cytology and general histology, 16. Uh, general physiology, 14. Informatics, 1, uh, 10. And data analysis, 1. Uh, mathematical principles also a 10 so yeah my first year was not that great and that's the purpose of me showing this to you guys is that although you can suck in your first year you can adapt and grow in your academic studies now let's take a look at my second year where the topics are shifting from general to more specific so I had a course on embryology and organogenesis so the uh, the generation, how organs are formed. Um, I had a 16. Functional anatomy, also 16. Physiology of different body systems, uh, a 13. Then general biochemistry, 15. Molecular biology, 1. I had a 10, which was not that good. Uh, specific histology, 16. Biological model systems, 15, like um, mice or chickens or xenopus frogs, uh, C. elegans worms, stuff like that. Then biomedical analysis, 1, I had a 12. Immunology, a 10. Data analysis, 2, which was biomedical statistics, a 13. And then a first coursework on doing literature and stuff, uh, I had a 13. So the grades here were already better especially like I had 16s, 15s. Uh, so I was really happy with the growth that I got from the second year and content also with the courses because they were very, very interesting. So moving over to my third year then, developmental biology, it says it two times here, a 10 and an 18. The reason why guys is because I redid the exam for, the, for that class. I wasn't content with my 10. So in second exam term, I got an 18 out of it, which actually had a major impact on the average score that I got. And as I wanted to continue to grow and get an honors degree to reach a certain threshold of points, I put in effort of redoing, restudying that uh, in the summer. Actually, human genetics, I also flunked at first and then I got a 19 out of it in second exam term. Then cell and tissue culturing, 16. Biomedical analysis 2, a 13. Molecular biology 2, 14. Biochemistry 2, 17. Informatics 2, 15. Microbiology 17. Protein chemistry 14. Medical gene technology 
15 epidemiology, 16 pathogenesis uh, with human, human pathogenesis, 13 and then the second coursework uh, on reading articles and presenting data and compiling, doing actual literature research work, also uh, 15. So my third year was actually the best one out of all three undergrad bachelor years. And then let me shift to another tab here. So this is what I mean with the, uh, the letter code on the last column actually. The A means that of those that succeeded, 10% has this uh, grade. So going back, I don't have a lot of A's. That's uh, a straight A student or what's it called in uh, the USA or in the UK also, I don't know. And then here you can actually see the total amount. So I passed geslacht met onderscheiding met 698 op 1000. So I passed with distinction or honors uh, with almost 7 on 10. So 70% just not made it to 700, damn it, on uh, September 16th, 2010. So that's my points for my bachelor's. Now let's shift to my master's here. So you have the study points, the weight actually of the class or course, the exam number, the results, and then ECTS value. So again with the, the A or Bs, I actually did get an A here. So let's go over them one by one. Pharmacology, 17. Good laboratory practices, GLP, 13. Immunopathology, 12. Medical seminars, 15. Molecular bacteriology, 18. Molecular Immunology 13, Molecular vi Virology 16, and then we had um, uh, an internship, uh, so a research internship at a certain lab. So I got a 16 out of that, which is really good because this is like the run up to your thesis for the year after. So this is the first master year 2010 to 2011. Laboratory Animal Science, Proof Dierkunde in. Uh, which was given in English. So I had a 14 on that. And then the second part of uh, laboratory animal science, I had a 13. Voedingsleer, uh, food science, uh, was also a very interesting course and topic. I got a 17 out of. So that's for my first year. And then moving over to my second year, there was the option to pick courses uh, as a choice. So I think these two, yeah, are Two of those, Biological Excursions in the Human Brain, very interesting course. I had a 16 on that, then drugs, um, not pharmacological drugs, well, drugs as in, yeah, uh, addictive drugs, cocaine, heroin, MDMA, uh, THC, LSD, you name it. Very interesting course also, 16. And then the other tab, uh, forensic uh, medicine was also a very, very, very cool uh, topic. Uh, glad that I chose that one. 17. Then conversational techniques and applied group dynamics, which is more of a course to develop some basic interaction skills, like do meetings or stuff like that, which could be very interesting for later on. And I had a 14 on that. Then innovation management, 14, all about patents and stuff. Then I also picked a course called Cancer, which was from another major actually, because I wanted to study that. I was very, I, I'm very interested in cancer as well. So it's a pity that I only got a 12 out of it, but yeah, it is what it is. And then my master thesis. So again, here, the name, the topic, the title, I had a 15. So this has 30 study points to it. So it's a major weight, major impact on your um, final outcome. And I should have had a 16 actually, but one professor in my jury was not agreeing on giving me a 16. So yeah, too bad, let's say, because that would have given me even a higher score. But nonetheless, I actually reached my goal and I'll show you that in the other tab. Um, yeah, just let me s clarify this here. Vaccinology and immunotherapy, also a very interesting course, uh, is 18 that I scored on that. And it might have been become clear to you guys up until now. I actually had the major immunology and infection, which included these courses to follow over the course of two years during my master's. Very, very cool major that I 
got into. Passed with grand honors, great distinction, with a 753 out of 1000 on 13 December 2012. Okay guys, so I shared my grades with you. I hope this can be inspiring to you. As you've noticed, I also started off low and then accelerated to the end. And then I actually got out a grand honors for my master's degree, which allowed me to start a PhD, of course. So guys, don't worry if you have bad grades in your first year and you barely made it. You can always amp up your game in the second year, third year and continue to grow and continue to put effort in studying and getting better grades. I studied harder automatically because the classes and the courses were more specific and really got my interest so guys that's it for this video i hope you liked it if you did then give it a thumbs up also make sure you subscribe to the channel and i'll see you around for more videos on biomed master cheers